And no echo. No echo. Everything's running. How about that? No echo. Your duck is ducking again. Yep. Quack, 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 quack. Yep. Quack, 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 quack. Sound like the penguin. <laughs> the penguin. <laughs> so, what do you think about Phil Mickelson? I sent you the, I sent you the link on that. You're tossing him out of the Masters. What? You didn't hear that? No, I've been busy all day. What happened? Well, they, they, they asked him. Evidently, the, the Masters consider is not part of the PGA Tour, so no. they have the right to, to invite or disinvite anybody they want. Yes. So they supposedly strongly encouraged Phil Mickelson to bow out and to uh, save himself the embarrassment of being disinvited. Wow, where so did you? Afraid that I sent you. I sent you a link with the with the article. It's okay, all over. It's all, it's all over Google. It's all over the place. Wow, that's hot off the press right there. You know, and I think I think um, uh, I think it's wrong. Yeah. He's won the Masters three times, right? Yep. He's a Masters champ. You know, the one to kick a bum like me out, that's one thing. But, you know, you get a guy like Phil Mickelson and, and what he's given to the game. And so one time he shot his mouth off. And like anybody else hasn't done that at one time in their life, one way yep. or the other. And he apologized, number number two. But he was afraid it was going to bring bad press to the golf tournament. We well, want bad press as far as I'm concerned. As soon as you start allowing ladies to play, I think you made a big mistake. If yeah. the women want to have their own private club with the women only, that's fine. And why can't guys have their own guys club with men only? Anyway, that's a whole other conversation. Wow, still. I didn't I didn't I did not realize that this had happened this afternoon. But where where do you where do you draw the line? I mean, what what uh, some of the things that other players have done. You like uh, look at some of the things Tiger Woods has done, and look at look at uh, uh, Cabrera, Miguel Angel Cabrera. He's in jail right now. You know, so where where do you draw some of these lines on on uh, how you um, how you punish people, right? Well, Angel Cabrera is probably working real hard on his putting. He's yeah, they, when he gets out. <laughs> Poor guy's in jail. Especially fast screens if he's putting on cement. <laughs> so when he gets out of jail, what is he is he gonna be invited back to the Masters? He's a champion. What did he go in jail for? For beating his wife. You go to jail for that? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of frowned upon. They call it assault. <laughs> they don't have that in Cuba. <laughs> But uh, yeah, he was a Masters champion. You're right; he's won it. Yeah. So, so you know the uh, the everybody. I mean, NFL is letting guys play that are maybe questionable. Sure. Is the things that might have happened. But I think Phil. I mean, Phil's a good guy. I mean, why? Why? Did you, so, so, so it went a little crazy. But he had some points that are true. I mean, like you said, yeah. they have PJ the has the rights over the, somebody's video. Um. All kinds of other things that they can't get revenue from. Yeah. But the article says about how Phil Mickelson get, made a lot of revenue off of the platform the PGA provides. Well, they provide a golf tournament, but they don't provide any pay. Yep. You know, when the sponsors put that up. Yeah. And then and then you got to pay to get in the tournament, but not so much anymore, as you said. You got to pay your room. You got to pay your caddy. You got to pay your food. You got to pay your airfare. You, you pay, pay, pay. Of course. You know, and, and then at the end of 36 holes, they say, geez, I'm awfully sorry, but you didn't play well enough. Goodbye. Get the hell out of here and go to the next town. So then you got to get bus fare to go to the next town. Yep. So, I mean, yeah, they're providing the tournament, but I don't know. I think they're all independent contractors. They should be allowed to play wherever they want to play. Unless, unless, unless the PGA Tour wants to say, okay, once you pass qualifying school, you're in for a guaranteed salary of X. Yeah, and that's you know that's um, that's another part of it where, um, you know, I, I I think that whole independent contractor thing needs to be re reevaluated because you know if you play on the tour for a certain amount of period, I want to say it's like 50 events, 
you get a retirement fund, right? And that that's a re the retirement fund is is very very nice. It's a very nice package. So you know, there's a lot of lot of things that that um, that are kind of gray areas, and that I think need to be looked at again, redefined, and um, and that whole independent contract kind of uh, qualification there. Um, By the way, while we're doing this conversation, we are Quick Fix Golf, and that means we want you to get out your cell phone, video your swing, and upload it on our site at quickfixgolf.com for a free analysis. We'll that's tell right. you what the heck you're doing. Just yep. don't say anything about the running a golf tournament in Saudi Arabia. That's right. <laughs> See, I'm going to have the, the Havana Open in Cuba. In Cuba the other day, they had some people that you know sort of protested against the government. They yep. took, they took, he took him to jail. They gave him a 30 year sentence. 30 years. For protesting the government. 30 years. Yeah. Yep. That's what Americans just don't realize how good we have it here, boy. I tell you what, yep. it's, it's unbelievable. Yep. Say something wrong and that's it. You're done. But, um, but. But, but I, I, I'm not saying I side with Phil. I'm just saying, I'm saying, yeah, he didn't use a good, very good choice of words. Um, you can't fault them to want to try and start some business. I mean, it's like saying you can't start a business on your own. Now, let me ask you this question. Do you think he would have made the same comments 10 years ago? Right? He's at an age, he's at 51 right now. So let's say he took into consideration that he can be, kind of exiled and given the scarlet letter would he have done it 10 years ago knowing that he still has 10 more years of the tour to play and masters to play and you, you, you or do you think it's just you know it was a um a comment that was uh was just taken the wrong way well you know the mf that he that he did that was a cool uh talking about how dangerous the Saudis were, I mean, then why are you doing business with them if you're afraid right. they're dangerous? Uh, that wasn't smart. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff he wish he could take back. Yeah. But I say, is he, is he, is, is the crime, you know, does the punishment fit the crime? Yeah, there you go. You know, if he's a, it's a past master's champion, what are you going to say that like, even as he gets a little bit older yet, you're not going to have him on the first TT and off? Like they used to have Sam Snead. And yeah. There's plenty of people that played golf with Sam Snead at, uh, isn't that place, Greenbrier? Yeah, the Greenbrier, yep. Yeah. They, would, they would tell you that Sam Snead was a criminal. Yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> <laughs> he, would, he, would, he would drive up to force them and say, hey, go ahead, play a hole with you. They'd That's play right. A hole with them. Then he, when they got back to their room, they had a $125 tab. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> played one hole with Sam Snead. Yep, exactly. <laughs> He was famous for that. But yeah, you got to, um, you know, speaking of which, um, who, who do you s surround yourself with? You know, there's a, there's a good old instruction book out there on how to, how to teach basketball. And in this instruction book that the, how to teach basketball, they talk about the team and not letting the team down and, and who's on your team. Right. So is, is Bill Mickelson's team, including the, 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 the Saudi Arabians? I mean, that that's that's a question you have to ask yourself too, is who are you associating yourself with? Are you associating yourself with them if they're bad people like that? That says something about your character. Well, I think I think he just got a little excited about the whole the whole deal. You know, he's not the only one involved. Wasn't Greg Norman involved? Oh yeah, he's still Greg Norman's still involved. He's still the chairman. And he's been trying to start this for years. For years. years. He tried yep. to start a world tour. And uh, and I mean, there is a world tour already in a sense with the South American tour, the Asian tour. I think Japan has one. I guess that's part oh, yeah. of the Asian tour. I guess it's the South African tour. Um, I mean, there's plenty of places to go for, to play minor league ball uh, until you're ready for the big leagues. But uh, I don't know. I don't know that you should be able to to ban somebody from playing in the tournament. When they're a past champion, and yeah, he's apologized. That's, yeah, that's and that's, he's apologized. Yeah, I, I hadn't, I hadn't read any, hadn't read or saw anything yet. So I'm gonna be as soon as we're done with this, I'm gonna be looking at some of the 
the news. I've been on the tee all day, so uh, that's uh, that's amazing that that Augusta would do that. So um, yeah, that's. I think that's. Um, I, I I don't think that he was going to cause as much commotion as they might think he was going to cause, because the people don't care. It's the PGA that cares. Yeah, the, the fans. I don't think the fans give a flying hoot. They want to see him play ball. They don't care. And I don't think that the PGA is stronghold or strong arming Augusta. I don't. You, I don't. I don't think Augusta does what Augusta wants to do. I don't think there's anything or anyone that's going to strong arm Augusta. So you got to think it was only um, their decision and and had nothing to do with you know the PGA Tour or. or um, you know, oh, that, oh no! The, the, the article goes on further to say that he's officially suspended from playing on the tour. Really? Wow! But it hadn't been it hadn't been announced because they keep that quiet. They they try not to comment on it, but it, it, he's in a pseudo or, or actual suspension. No kidding. Taking, taking a sabbatical from the game. Wow! Wow, that's uh, that's that's hot news right there. Well, it's I mean, it, it didn't like he beat his wife or something like you said. Right. You know, he beat his wife, he'd go to jail. Go to jail. <laughs> what was what was what was uh what's his name again? I forgot. Cabrera. Cabrera. Yeah. What where was he at that he got thrown in jail? Was it the US or was it in Argentina? No, he's in Argentina. In Argentina? Yeah, he's in an Argentinian jail. Oh wow. What's jail like down there? I can't imagine it's a nice place. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to lose weight, that's a good place to go. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you won't get a lot to eat. <laughs> but to get the crap out of you, too. I mean, jail's no fun anywhere. No matter yep. where you go. You know, so. But that, wow, that's, that's a shame. Crazy. I think that's terrible. Phil Mickelson should be playing in the Masters in my vote. Yep. Wow. If you'd like to make take a vote on the chat box, just go in and give us your, your comment to see what you think. Um, wow. Well, a little delay, so. Yeah, and then if you got any other questions about the other game, uh, your golf swing, anything else that uh, you want to talk about, just put it in the chat box. We're here for you. We want you to play better golf now, so – um, this is your time to get better, to ask some questions, and for us to take a look at your golf swing. So uh, where do we stand with that app? Is That that app should be any day, right? I just finished putting in all the uh, the, the times and everything for both of you guys. Just finished it just at 4 o'clock. All right, awesome. So then I got some other – I had another email I had to send, and one other little tiny teensy-weensy snag that we'll get over. And find out where our app is. Yep. Uh, Apple Apple is not that easy to deal with. Talk to some other people that, that are deal with apps. And yep. they said, man, it's, it's you know, they'll, V1 even has trouble with their app. Yep. Because I got, you know, lessons going to the wrong people and everything else. And uh, they said, you, Apple will tell you, well, no, it's, it's your fault. Your code is wrong. Yep. And, and the guy that's making the code says, no, it's Apple. Was they made a change because they move the goalpost every you know every so often. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. Anthony Viola, hey, Tonino, Tonino, good luck at the Tonino says, yeah, Phil should be in the Masters. If not, he should defend his player's title in May. I agree with you right there, Tonino. Hey, you know what? Let's send a couple Angelino and, and, and guard bro. Send him over there as a guard, bodyguard and let him play. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Luigi, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Um, PGA Jack, hello. Yes, PGA Jack. Hello, hello. Yeah, that'll that'll be another interesting to see if uh, Phil can defend his PGA title. You know, from the sound of it, it doesn't sound like they're going to allow him to do that. <laughs> well, according to the article I read, according to the article, they said he's under suspension. Yeah. So, you know, for how long or or for what? Or I can understand the PGA being hot because in a sense he's trying to compete with that with his with his home organization, his home association. But the Masters doesn't have anything to do with the PGA, but they said they thought it would cause too much commotion. Sure. I don't yeah. know what I don't well, know why that's, that's you know, that's, 
you, well, what do you want when, when you watch the Masters? What do you want? What, what are you looking for? You, you're looking for. You, you want to take a look at. You want to see the golf course, right? You want to see the players. You want to see, um, you know, the golf. You don't want to see, you know, the controversy that could potentially, you know, with Phil playing, could could potentially distract from those things. And I think that's probably what they were thinking by um, <clears throat> asking him to bow out. But um, I, I also think that there might be some other underlying things that uh, we just don't know about yet that, that might be uh, um, in, in, in the background that, uh, that that might come out. But we'll see what happens. Well, I don't think the crowd would put up such a fuss. I think it's a matter of the announcer. Yes. Just not mention yes. it. Just stay out of it. Don't mention yep. it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Phil should play. PGA Jack says Phil should play. There you go. Jack, are you a PGA member? Might be. So Phil says Phil Phil should play. Yeah, I mean, I think I think if you ask, like you're saying, if you ask most people, most people are gonna say Happy yeah, don't know what the heck happened. They don't know. Exactly, right. We know because we're a bunch of golf geeks. We know what's going on because you, you know, we're, we're checking, you know, what's going on because we want to know what's going on because we're yep. you know we're golf pros. But people that otherwise they don't, they don't know. I mean, most people don't know what happened. Yeah. They don't even know about a Saudi Arabian tour. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But anyway, uh, one thing I wanted to say that might help some folks out there is that when you're taking a lesson. We go back and look at the video afterwards. Sometimes, so like like uh, like you did, Darren. Yeah. And you find out, well, what, what, what's being shown is spot on. The problem is you're not performing that. You might think you're performing it, but you're not performing it. And I think people need to have a real way to sort of measure. That's why I like using the sticks and having the stick on the ground and say, get the golf club to point at the stick on the ground. And still, sometimes they have trouble with it. Yeah. Still. So you got to be patient with yourself and really say, hey, you know, step one is identifying the problem. You identified the problem. Now, now you know where to go. That doesn't mean that, you know, the doctor comes in and says, guess what? You've got X, but you're going to have to take uh, three bottles of pills and one every four hours until it's gone. You didn't say it's going to be gone when you walk out the door. Right. <laughs> you know, and, and you got to take the, med take the medication, medication properly. You yeah. can't take it. You know, well, he says one pill every four hours, or you take one, and then 10 days later, you take another one. 10 days later, you take another one. He says, geez, I'm not well yet. Well, no kidding. Yeah, no kidding. Once you, once you identify what the problem is, and you say, we're going to apply the following drill, you do that drill every time nobody's looking. In an elevator, in the kitchen, just watch out for lamps if you're in the living room. You know, you do the drill all the time, and you keep nagging your body into submission. Go here, go here, go here, go here, go here, go here. You keep telling it to go there until it finally goes there. Then you got to have a way of knowing whether it's a full length mirror or whatever to say, okay, I see it. I feel it and I see it. I feel it and I see it. Now I might be able to do it on the driving range. And if I'm lucky, I'll be able to transfer it to the golf course eventually, from the golf course to playing in the tournament. And yep. it can fall apart anywhere along the way. Yep. That's the way it goes, whether you like it or not. I didn't make it up. Well, I think a lot of times people, you know, people when they come for a lesson, Bobby, they want the pro to do all the work. You know, it's it's the effort that, uh, you know, the, the student needs to put in, like you're saying. You got to take the medicine. You got to you got to do the drills. Hey, PJ Jack says, Bobby, what are the thoughts on the right leg in the backswing? I was always told to keep the flex in my right knee leg when I when I learned. Um, Chico, my artist, used to make me do these squats. Well, of course, he couldn't make me because I couldn't do them. <laughs> And it was, it was hard. You have to be a ballet dancer to do this. He, he said, you hang on to a rail or something with your left hand, and then you squat with your right leg only and take your left leg and stick it out. Put your leg completely completely elongated, and you squat on just your right leg only. But he said, it's the right leg that's uh, pushing off the ground as you go into the, to, towards impact. And that's what these kids, a lot of the kids that are talking about today, is they're using the ground. So, yes, you need to have your right knee slightly flexed because otherwise you're not using any, any power off the ground, pushing off the ground from low to high. The backswing is downhill. It's not uphill. The arms go uphill, but the chest goes downhill. If your chest goes up, you're in trouble. And then you're going to be steep. 
You know, whether you're whether you're thinking load up on the left or load up on the right, you, you can't get your shoulder to go high. You think, Darren, or because even when you when you do a little more, because you do a little more tilt than I do, you're still that left shoulder is going down, it's not going up. Yeah, and then often it, it depends on the student and the person. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you don't you don't have any Thank flexibility, you, you know, you're gonna have to so there, there's definitely change in flex in, in the in the knees and in a backswing and a downswing. It definitely happens. Some change more, some change less. That's all there is to it. But there's definitely change 100%. Now, do players lock their trail knee or their a right-hander right, lock their right leg? I don't know if anybody does that, but it all depends on the person and how much um, – their 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 legs. Let's let's bring up an example here. Let's see who, who we could bring up. Yeah, I'd rather see it locked, quite frankly, than I wouldn't see it bowed out to the right with a lateral move in the hips. Like the way you learned it at uh, Arthur Murray Dance Studio. <laughs> Arthur Murray. We're going to send you to Arthur Murray. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey made me do it. <laughs> I used to do that in Richmond. I used to do it and I had these group lessons in. I start getting your feet up. I'm going to send you to Arthur Murray. And finally, about the fifth week, this one guy and his wife who was in the class come up to me and say, we want to thank you for all the referrals. I said, what referrals? I said, we own the Arthur Murray studio in Richmond. <laughs> <laughs> And I would Funny say guy. that is a joke. <laughs> Funny guy. <clears throat> so let's take a look at um, how about uh, Cantley. Let's take a look at Cantley. I don't have some. I got Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> There's Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Uh, where's Cantley? Cantley, Cantley. There we go. So let's take a look at what hit, what's going on with his his right leg here at the top of the swing. Your head's in the way. Oh, my head's in the way. Hold on. Let me move my head. As fat as that is, we can't see anything behind it. <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> All right, so there's there's Patrick Cantley. So at this point in the swing, his right knee is above his left. So there's definitely been a change in the flex because his hips have turned. Let's take a look at Bubba Watson. Let's flip him around. Well, he goes airborne. So, you know, to me, Bubba Watson is going to have one of the straightest trail legs that you're going to see out there. All right? Can you see that okay? Yeah, look at his right foot. He's, I think he's bowing that knee out just slightly. Yep. But I think with everybody, it's just it's a little bit different. Because look at how his right foot's towed in a little bit. Yes, it is. It is. So I would fan that toe out a little bit. Yep. But everybody's going to be a little bit different in there, just depending on their flexibility and how much hip turn they have uh, and how much length of swing they have. So everybody's a little bit different in there. But it does happen. The knees will change flex. Your trail leg will straighten a little bit. And depending on what degree, that's the question mark. But it's still flexed. So, yeah, it's still, it's still flexed. Yes, I don't think anybody locks it. I think Bubba Watson is close to locking it. But uh, I don't think that there's any locking in there. But the last thing I think you want to do is have resistance in there. I don't think you want to intentionally keep the right leg or for a right-hander, you know, the right leg 
flex to the degree that it stops hip turn and you start resisting um, like a rubber band in there. And that, that's kind of my you mean, point. You mean, you mean the X factor you put you in the hospital? I mean, it's exactly what I mean. X factor. I think that it's a, a really bad way to swing a golf club. And, and what X factor is, is the relationship between hip turn and shoulder turn um, and resisting hip turn to create torque with the shoulder turn or this kind of rubber band winding type of effect. And I think that that just causes injury. That's that's uh, from your old buddy there. What's his name? Yeah, the blonde hair. Yep, Nicholas. Yep. No, not Nicholas. Johnny the, Miller. What, no, the, 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 the he used to teach at Doral. Was, uh, oh, Jim McLean. Yes. Jim McLean. Yeah. Oh yeah, he came up with the X factor. That's not. I don't. I don't think it's a. It's a good. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea for for most people. And I think it's going to cause injury and cause problems. If you're like six three and skinny and really skinny in the ass, you can probably pull it off. Yeah. <laughs> the fact you were going to do it. Yeah, that, that way bye bye to do you the long, <laughs> long time ago. That way bye bye to you. <laughs> Imagine Lee Trevino doing the X Factor. <laughs> no, I, I like you know. You got to have that hip turn. Yep. Yeah, there you go, PGA Jack. It's Jim, Jim McLean, just like Jim McLean, like we were saying there. Um, but hopefully that answers your question. If you got any other questions, put them in the chat box. We've got quite a few viewers on right now. So put your questions in the chat box. We're talking a little bit about Phil Mickelson. Should he be playing in the Masters? We're talking about golf swing. Uh, and we want to see what you got going on with your swing. So make sure you send us a video of your golf swing. Upload it to our website at quickfixgolf.com. And we'll do an evaluation absolutely free, not a penny out of your pocket, give you some drills to work on. And most importantly, identify the big fault that you have going on that's keeping you from playing better golf now. So get those cell phones out and keep an eye out for our app. That app is going to be out um, real, really soon. It's going to be real easy for you to upload your swing right with the app there. But in the meantime, upload it to our website. It could not be any easier either way. So... Um, you got any questions, throw them right there in the chat box. Yeah, and, and just to know what the heck is wrong is, yeah. is worth your time. It's absolutely free to you know take the video, upload it on the site, because that's that's 95% of the bargain as far as I'm concerned is knowing what it is. It's the same thing when you get sick. You go to the doctor, you want to find out what it is. Yep. Once you know what it is, then you can deal with it. Now, you know, what medication we're going to take? We're going to take this. We're going to take that. We're going to take the other. So you, you have to you have to know what the heck it is, and that's the. Let me see. How, how do you guys ever got to play Augusta? No, I've never played Augusta. Have you ever played Augusta there, Darren? I have not. I've been there a couple of times. I've been there a few times, but I've not played there. That's kind of a tough ticket. <laughs> We can get in for free if we want to get in. Yeah, we can we can get in with our, our PGA membership, but um, you have to play with a member. It's uh, it's not an easy uh, invite to get there to play. So um, I call Condoleezza Rice the next time I take her out. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. Tell her I said hello uh, while you're at it. Said, tell her she can get us on now. Yep. Yep. You know, she does. She sent me back a notice. I'm sorry. They turned you down. They said they don't let Cubans play here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you going to do? Yep. Um, so, you know, kind of more on this concept of the, of the, the, the knees, you know, if, if we watch what Cantley does in the, um, the forward swing, you know, we're going to watch because he turns, his left leg will straighten as well. So, you know, as the hips turn, you know, the knees respond, the knees will flex and unflex. And as you go into a finish, that left leg, for Cantley at least, is nice and straight. And then that trail leg is flexed. So as you turn the hips, the knees will, will respond in there. They're going to flex and unflex. So hopefully, Jack, that makes a little sense for you. Jack was saying he wanted to figure out how to upload a swing. It's easy. You just go to quickfixgolf.com and then click on the uh, 
Well, I'll tell you what. Darren, pull it up. Yeah, I'll pull it up. Sure. Darren's going to show you right now exactly how to do it. It's easy. Even Darren can do it. Even I, even a, yeah, even a caveman can do it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Can you see it now? Not yet. Now we can. Okay. Now where it says free quick fix up at the top. The menu, there you go. Free lesson online. There you go, free analysis. You just put in your name. You don't even have to put your last name if you don't want to. Email, get Darren's special report. It's a good report, it's worth having, and that's free. And then uh, you press upload file, take it up a little higher. And then you just upload your file from wherever you're at. If you're on your cell phone, it's just going it to go straight to your photo. So, uh, it doesn't get yeah. any easier. And like, like Darren said, we're going to have an app shortly. You'll be able to do it right on your phone without having to even get onto the laptop or anything. You don't need to with this either. You can actually pull this up on your cell phone. Yep. And like, like Darren says, go to your video on your cell phone and upload it on the site. Yep. We get an we get a uh, an email immediately and knows you sent it. We'll do the analysis. We'll laugh at you and we'll send it back. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's the you know that's the you know not only is it informative but it's also you know um, it, there's a little bit of comedy to it. It's a it's it's a show to some degree. You know what I mean? So um, we try to make it uh, to where you're enjoying it, and it's it's not this dry. Okay, we'll keep your left arm straight, and you know we got to work on your grip, and you know it's uh, it's something that uh, you'll enjoy for sure, but not not that difficult to do. Yeah. Just we can do like that 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 Saturday Night Live skit that you had on the on the TV the other night. Which when one I was, was over the pad. Until uh -huh. <laughs> I get the guy to drill, like hold your butt up against the chair while you're hitting some short shots. Yeah. So you can't you can't hold his butt up against the chair. He says your mother held her butt up the chair. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> With me last night. <laughs> that guy was hilarious, man. <laughs> he sounded just like uh, James. Yes, Bond. like Sean Connery. It was Sean Connery. Was Sean Connery, and he, he just. Yes, and I had a good time with your mother. <laughs> Randy says, how can you put the link to the website? It's quickfixgolf.com. Oh, Mike Martin, you're, you're, you're the great. Mike, Mike is unbelievable. He's great. Oh, Mike Martin. You got, you got so lucky. He married the greatest girl. He just, he just got so freaking lucky. Especially considering he's got a horn on the top of his head. <laughs> but he got lucky. He got a great girl. We're all lucky. You got lucky. I got lucky. Yep. Any other questions? Pull up another swing. All right. Hold on one sec. Tell a joke or something. <laughs> You're the jokester. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that movie from the the, uh, the the Italian movie? Which no, which, which... Moon Moonstruck? Oh, Moonstruck! Yeah, it's, it's like before my time. Like I was, like, I was, Moonstruck. I was, you know, adolescent. I was, I was young when that that movie came out. What's what's the What's the Near joke? the end, the old guys at the table, nobody's saying anything. He says, tell a joke or something. <laughs> well, you know, we could talk about um, this week's tournament. You know, the world uh, the world match play. You know, it's kind of right in line with the NCAA tournament. Is uh, the tournament is still Mickelson playing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fill out your brackets. Who do you got winning this week? And to me, um, you know, when you've got a, 
What 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 are your thoughts in match play, Bobby? What 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 uh, what allows you to be successful in match play? Do you think it's more of don't make mistakes or be aggressive and make lots of birdies? What what do you what are your thoughts in match play? Well, the way I used to do it as a kid is uh, I take whatever I was playing for. So if it was a twenty dollar Nassau and I had sixty bucks there. I take 60 bucks out of my left pocket, put it in my right pocket, and consider it gone. Okay. But it's already gone. The next movement would be reach my right hand pocket, hand it to the guy. So this way I figure I've already lost it already. So then I play aggressive. I try to make as many birdies as I can. There you because go. Because you, you, you need birdies to win holes. Yep. If I make 10 on the hole, I don't care. You only lost one hole. So, you know, if I go for a stick and I end up bearing it under the lip of a buck or something, so what? What the hell's the difference? I only lost one hole. The other thing I, I used to, you know, concern myself a little bit is the two down automatic press. Is sometimes it can be detrimental. Sometimes it'd be real helpful if you're hot. It can be real detrimental if you're not. Yep. Because you might you lose the first two holes and you say, okay, I'll press. You got seven more holes to go on a nine on a nine hole afternoon match. You still got plenty of time to just win that by one up. Now you're flat. You didn't make any money. Yeah, that'd be even kind of more in the Nassau type of um, type of format. But I'm just, you know, in general, just a match play. Um, I think you're absolutely right about being aggressive in birdie. So if if we want to um, take a look at who's going to, who, who I think might win this week, we should look at players who make the most birdies. So who do you think on the PGA Tour right now has the most birdies so far in this season, let's see how close you are. I'll give you a couple guesses. How about Brooks? Nope. Although you know he, he's he's up there, but he's not um, he's he's not in in, in the, the top five. Let's say. Really? How about Matsuyama? Nope. Oh, Matsuyama! Matsuyama. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How about that buddy candy you have up there right now? All right. Here's our man with the most birdies. Is it Cameron Chan? Nope. This is Tom Hoagie. Tom Hoagie. Tom Hoagie. There's our man. Tom Hoagie never made a bogey. Tom Hoagie. So if if you're good, you're gonna look at players, I think, just like what you said, Bobby who are aggressive and make birdies. You want to look at players like Tom Hoagie, Scotty Scheffler makes a lot of birdies, uh, players like that um, who I think will play well this week. Now, the only thing with Tom Hoagie, he might be kind of hung over a little bit. He's, he's just been playing a lot of golf so far, and this is a really long week. You know, they started playing golf today, and uh, they play a lot of matches. So to get to Sunday, you, you're playing a ton of ton of golf. So I don't know how well rested. Oh, I feel he is. so sorry for him. Yeah, I exactly. So oh, for him. Yeah. Yeah, the sorry. monkey made. I've played all freaking year. The monkey made me do it. <laughs> he started it. <laughs> Anthony uh, Tonino here asked about putting up uh, Sergio Garcia. Yes, yes. Sergio, Sergio I'm glad about a fighter Garcia. Yeah, Sergio Swing. Uh, great pick this week. Sergio would be a great, great pick. You think? He makes a lot of birdies? Absolutely, yes. You know, he's coming out with a new designer condom. It's called the Sergio Prevente. Okay. <laughs> the Prevente? <laughs> <laughs> Sergio Prevente. And Bobby, you like to use Sergio's swing quite a bit with um, kind of your visualization and and you describe things. To tell everyone, you know what what they should take away from Sergio's motion here. When he pulls down, he's going to see his chest is still facing us. And what do you mean by pulling down? What is he pulling down? Well, he he claims his dad told him as a kid, see the watch, pull it down a little bit further, pulling down the shaft. But his dad told him to pull down. I feel like you're pulling down on a chain with both hands. So right there, 
See, his chest is still facing us. A lot of students we see, they've already turned towards the ball at that point. And, and that's what sends you over the top. You know, it's giving those, giving those arms a head start, just like Tiger says, arms win the race. Or I like your old boss's best one, Nicholas, says, I felt like I had to get the club to the ball before the buttons of my shirt got there. Yeah. Yep. Because you're hitting the ball with what? The club head. Right? Exactly. Yeah, look at the flex in the right knee for Sergio there. We talked about yep. the flex in the right knee a, a little minute ago. Got flex in the right knee. And he probably has a couple of enchiladas in his bag. <laughs> <laughs> couple of empanadas. Yeah, he does a really good job of, like you said, just keeping his, his back to the target. That's another way to think about it. You know, his back is facing the target for an extended period of time. And uh, his hips are kind of open here at this point, and his shoulders are really closed. Or, or square, whatever however you want to look at it. Um, or delayed. But um, he's keeping his back to the target there, which is definitely an important thing to, to eliminate some of that over-the-top move that we see all the time. Yeah, right. if you just keep those hands and arms, just a just a slight head start, just a little bit of a head start, you'll probably be all right. Don't be afraid of casting, and you're not going to cast it. The only way you can cast it is if you turn your chest. Right. Otherwise, you won't cast it. You can get rid of it as fast as you want from the top. If you got any questions for us, throw them right in the chat box. We'd be happy to uh, to talk about and, them. Uh, and we're notice talking Sergio a has a white belt. We were talking a little bit about Phil, Phil earlier, about Phil, whether you, whether or not you think he should play in the Masters. Kind of the consensus so far is that we think that he should be playing in the Masters. Um, if you want us to uh, talk about anything in, in any kind of um, any swings, just let us know and we'll, we'll be happy to uh, help you play better golf. So throw it right in the chat box there. And, yeah, and you know, Phil, he apologized, number one. He apologized, and you and you mentioned Angel Cabrera. Okay, so he's gone to jail or something. Over the, so once the fence is over, it's over. He's paid his time. He should be allowed to play. Are you going to do the same thing to him? Are you going to say no? You can't play in the Masters because right. you, you beat your wife. You know, I had that problem once. I went out and I had the worst round of my life. See, and I come home and my wife starts saying yap 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 yap. I said that's it. I had enough. Boom! Popped her right in the jaw. You said, "What are you doing hitting me?" Say, geez, I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's just I've been hitting everything fat today. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's a joke. It's I've I've heard that one way too many times, though. That's the problem. I know. <laughs> now you sound like my wife. <laughs> Are you gonna tell Wait, that joke again? Say, yeah, but it's not it's not to the same person. Yeah. Uh, enough with that joke. You need you need to retire that one. <laughs> That's, that was stolen from Chichi Rodriguez. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep, that's a Chichi Rodriguez joke. Yep, I'm sure he's got a lot of a lot of good jokes in there. That's for sure. Oh, Chichi was a piece of work. I tell you what, he's a great ambassador for Puerto Rico. Yeah, it's a shame what's what what uh, what he's had to go through there. It really is. I wonder. Well, whatever he's going through is not as bad as what these people are going through in Ukraine right now. Yeah. Yep. It's a shame to see humanity have to be, you know. I know. I mean, in this in this day and age, I mean, come on now. In this day and age, you think we'd be past all this stuff, but you know, it's just uh, it's just you know, uh, common sense and and the golden rule. I think the golden rule applies to a lot of things. Just kind of treat people that you the way that you'd want to be treated. So exactly. You know, why, why can't exactly. we just live by that? So. Um, But I see, Bobby, tell the joke about the guy whose hand is in the cell phone and took a fax with the toilet paper. Uh -oh. You already gave away the punchline. <laughs> I don't know if I've heard this one. Have I heard this one? <laughs> this guy sitting at the bar, see, and he's talking to his hand. He's got his hand up alongside his ear like this, you know, and he's talking to his hand to see if I can get his little delay on that. Where is it? He's stuck into his hand like this, and the guy next to him says, "What's the matter with you, pal? Are you a little toasted or something? Do you need some help?" He says, "No, this really works." He says, "Works? You're talking to your hand like it's a cell phone." He says, "Yeah, it works. I'm a I'm an electronic phenomenon." 
He said, give me your home number. So he gives him his home number and he dials it on his hand and he puts his hand next to the guy's ear and his old lady answers the phone. He goes, I can't believe it. This is unbelievable. He says, can I show my pals on the bar? He says, yeah, in a minute. I got to go to the bathroom first. So he goes to the bathroom and he's in there for 15 minutes. He hadn't come out. So the guy goes in looking for him and he finds him standing in the corner with a roll of toilet paper in his hand. He says, hey, aren't you coming up out? I want to show you my pals. He goes, yeah, I'll be right there. I'm still waiting for a fax. <laughs> Funny, funny, funny. <laughs> <laughs> we got to upgrade that joke. It's an old joke. We're going to say I'm waiting for a text message. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> I'm getting a text message. And thank you. Thank you, Ryan, by the way, for uh, um, encouraging that uh, childish, <laughs> childlessness. <laughs> and we got to upgrade that thing because I'm getting a long text. <laughs> So I think, uh, you know, those are type of the players that, that we might see this week, you know, players that make lots of birdies as opposed to, you know, some of the shorter players, some of the more conservative players, um, you know. Yeah, like, like 71 is not going to make you make you win. You could, you could do is shoot like you shot a 66, even though you shot 71 because you had two sixes. Yep, exactly. Yep. You know, how many birdies can you pop off in the round? you can pop off six birdies, seven birdies, you're going to be tough to beat. Yep. The other holes that you screwed up, you screwed up. So what the hell? I mean. Yep. Especially these kids today, they do, do so many birdies. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Ryan Bart says that was for Darren laughing out loud. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite golf swing on the Champions Tour now? Well, the one guy I saw that I thought should win everything is uh, Bryant or something. What's Brian. his name? Who, now, who are you talking about? Brian. On the senior tour. I think his last name is Bryant. Bryant. That doesn't ring a bell. No, because he's not willing because he doesn't win very much. But he hits it better than anybody out there. Okay. Yeah. I heard he's, he's, he's a little bit of a too pensive. You know, I got you. I should, should have hit eight. I should have hit eight. I wish I'd have hit my eight iron instead of my nine iron. I wish I would have done that. I wish I'd have done that. Yeah, I don't. I don't Just know. Just go play. Yeah, I don't know who you're referring to, but I would. I would have thought you'd say uh, Bern, Bern, Bernhard. You don't like that golf swing. Um, hey, you, you can't. You can't complain. It works. Yeah, it's a good golf swing. It's a good golf swing, and it works. Good golf swing and it works. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But I, I just Bernhard is so so dry that it's not impressive to me. In a right. Sense. Yep. There he is. Um, I'll tell you, you know who who I I wish we played some senior tour stuff would be like Nick Faldo, um, Steve Elkington. You know those those are some 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 great golf swings that. You know, I just aesthetically like to watch that just don't play the senior tour. Um, but there are a lot of kind of funky swings out there. And we've we've looked at funky swings before from, you know, some older players just because we, we didn't have the technology back in the day where you just owned your own swing and, and whatever it did, it did. Where today's golf swings are more position orientated and more um, – you know, aesthetical looking than, um, than than some of the players of of, of the past. So, but um, you know, the, the to me that's you know Steve Elkington and, and Nick Faldo always had really really nice golf swings. That uh, but they're not playing the senior tour. Um, but it's tough to yeah. go ahead. No, go ahead. It's it's tough to 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 um, to say anything about Bernard swing, but you're right. He's, it's just dry, you know. He's dry, but it uh, it definitely works and it definitely produces. That's for sure. And I and I I don't like the long putter routine. Yes, I mean I think that's. I know they changed the rule. No, he can't. He didn't have it against his chest, but I don't. I just don't like this idea of the long putter. I think a putter should be thirty seven inches and that's it. Yeah. And I, I don't. I don't like bracing it against the arm either. And then putting it up against your 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 armpit, that's even worse. He, Tonino says Grant Wade had a great swing, yeah, he ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> he had a great swing and he ruined it. 
Yeah. And he's walking like a duck. Yep. <laughs> Take Bernhardt to the top. Let's see where he's got the stick. Yeah. Yeah, Grant Wade, in case you don't don't realize it, you know, had a um, went through a transitional uh, uh, um, phase with his golf swing where he changed his golf swing um, later in his uh, career. Whoa, 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 did you just see that? Oh, yeah, I saw it. He has that. I've seen it in other videos he's had, where he he gets into that funk once in a while. Right in here, right is what you're talking about. Yep. Look. Look at that. He's laid the shaft off. Yep. Look where it's pointed. And then he didn't do this all the time. He might have just been trying to reach for some more distance and he tried to get some more lift in his arms. Yep, there he is at the top. Keeps his right knee flexed. Yep. I think what Bernhardt's done better than anybody, he's, he's the Gary player of his generation as far as conditioning and strength conditioning and whatever. That's where he really went bonkers for. And I think it's it's turned out, and especially today, if, if you don't have the, the wherewithal to move the ball a, a good distance, you know, you just can't play. Yeah. Yep. I just, there's no denying that fact. So he fixed the shaft there. All right, if you got any questions for us, throw them right in the chat box there. We'd be happy to answer your questions. We'd love to see your golf swing. All you need to do is upload it to quickfixgolf.com. Go to our website. Couldn't be any easier. We'll do an evaluation absolutely free and clear up some of that confusion that you're having. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be here tonight watching this um, because uh, your golf is not where, it, where, it, uh, where you want it to be. So... Get your cell phones out and send us those golf swings. We'll be happy to take a look at them for you. Do you have another Bernhardt swing? Yep. Because we might take a look at a different one and see he doesn't do that. That little laid off position that he had on there. Uh, I just have a I just have a face on. <clears throat> oh. All right. Yep. But I know what you're saying there. All right. <laughs> I was just thinking, looking at this picture, I've seen a guy before swing and hit the ball with just the, barely the inside part of the neck of the golf club and the ball went right between his legs. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> he was hitting in those bushes right behind him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, I've seen Zach yeah, Johnson but... do that on more than one occasion, making a practice swing. He did it on the opposite side of the club, though. He hit it on the toe of the club. He did it at Augusta, and then he did it at Sawgrass uh, recently, making practice swings, just getting too close to the golf ball. But you know, uh, back to Phil, back to Phil Mickelson. Yeah. You know, I, I find it far more egregious what Patrick Reed did. Oh, there you go. Right? Now, that, that, that there's somebody that should be suspended. It right. wasn't suspended whatsoever. Right. That's a good point. How, how quickly we forget. Yeah. And that he, he didn't do it just once. Now, look what he did the other day, flipping the bird at some of the fans. Yeah. And using the F-bomb. Yep. That warrants a suspension. Yep. How come he's not suspended? Well, that was just like I, my, my my argument earlier about you know where do you draw the line? What 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 does the the crime fit the punishment? 
All right. You want another suspension? What about that time Tiger Woods on number 15 there? Hit the ball, hit the flag stick, the ball went in the water, and when he went to place another ball, he went back two yards yep. deeper than the divot. That warrants a suspension. That's what was a blatant breaking of the rules on purpose. Yep. Yep. Of course, he could, he could he could claim ignorance. I didn't know the rules, or you don't know the rules as long as you've been playing golf. I mean, come on. Yep. I mean, more so than than Phil giving his opinion on something or trying to do a business deal that may be in competition with 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 you know the powers to be, but that doesn't mean he should be suspended, especially considering he apologized. Yeah. Yep. And you know what? Another thing is, I don't. I, do you know of anybody going to Phil's aid? I, I don't. Of everything that I've heard and read, nobody's going. Nobody's backing him up. Everybody's taking the opposite side of it, right? Yeah. They, well, they're, they're all chickens. They're all scared to say. But something. I think that's it. Yeah. There, it's everybody's. You know, afraid to say something that goes against the mainstream because you'll get you know vilified for it. You know. But, and I'm not condoning. I'm not condoning what he did. Right. I think his choice of words was very poor. Yep. I think he probably just didn't figure it was ever going to get out and thought it was a private conversation. Wasn't it a conversation on the phone or something? Well, the, yeah, one, one of the things is his book with uh, Alan Chip, Chipnick. He wrote, wrote a book about it. Uh, he wrote a book about Phil and, and some of the things in the book that are coming out. Uh, Phil said were private and they weren't for, you know, public knowledge. And that book's going to come out, I want to say, around the PGA Championship. So uh, there's been little s snippets of, of the book already that have been um, sent out in the media. But uh, that, that book should be coming out relatively soon in the next two or three months here, which is, a, from what I hear, a tell-all. Of, of, of Phil's kind of inside um, in, insider trading, so to say. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Well, it had a gambling issue or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, gambling and IRS and, you know, there, there's lots of, of uh, you know, skeletons, so to say, that, that people have claimed are in Phil's closet. So, but... You know, who are, we to, bad. Who, who are we to throw stones? Yep. Yeah, it's too bad. Too bad, because I think he was good for golf. I mean, it's good for left-handed golf, that's for sure. Yep. You know, have folks want to play golf that are left-handed. In the old days, it used to be a problem, but not, not today, because everything's done by computer. Yeah. In the old days, all the club makers were right-handed, or most of them anyway. And they were made by hand. Yep. So it was artistry involved. And uh, now, now they you design it on a computer, and it's made by a machine. I mean, it's it's all you gotta do is push a button and flip it from one yep. right hand to left hand. Got the same lie angle, same everything. So it's not it's not as big a deal today. So if you're left handed, you can play golf. There's yeah. not enough. I think I hear in Canada, like forty percent of the golf equipment in a store is left-handed. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yep. We're here. It's maybe ten percent if you're lucky. Yep. Well, it's, it all comes from playing hockey. That's where it really. really that's where. That's yeah. where it comes from. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. It's from playing hockey. So, you see it in the. Why do they play hockey left-handed? What? What? Do they play hockey left-handed? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Really? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, we get a lot of Canadians that come through Myrtle Beach, and um, you know, we we see a lot of uh, of left left-handed golfers. So that's that's where it really comes from. It comes from the hockey aspect of it, but the Canucks. Yep. Um. And I, you know, one of the things that, you know, I'll certainly miss with Phil is how exciting he was to watch. You know, he had kind of the ups and downs and roller coaster rides that you, well, I guess because I'm a Met fan, I enjoy I enjoy a lot the ups and downs, the winnings and the losings. Um, 
that that you'd see with Phil and you'd see with the Mets. But um, you know, you'll you'll uh, we'll miss that at the Masters. You know, he's exciting to watch. That's for sure. It's not like watching um, uh, you know paint dry. Yeah, they should let they should let him play. I mean, his personal life, as long as he's not breaking the law. I mean. It isn't like he committed some kind of a of a of a real like Gallardo had a a, a, a bigger offense of having done physical damage to another human being, but at least yeah. Phil he uh he got himself in a mess. Yep. Yeah, one of the uh uh more famous uh lefties from Canada, Mike Weir. Mike Weir is from Canada. A Masters champion. He's left-handed. And uh, Tony says uh, he used to play hockey up there. I wouldn't doubt that. That's for sure. <clears throat> Lefty from Canada. And hockey's a tough game where you got to be a real man to play hockey. Those guys knock the snot out of each other. Yep. Yep. That's That's a real game, hockey. And I've gone to a couple of hockey games, and I tell you, you, the TV doesn't do it justice. You just can't believe how fast they skate once you see it live. They're they're booking, boy. They're really moving. Those like, guys yeah. are terrific. Strong, strong legs. Strong, strong legs. The legs feed the wolves. Now they have to pin you up against the glass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ba -ba boom! You get it. All right. So we call it a night? Yes. Uh, it... If anybody else has any questions, we're going to call it a night. We've, uh, we're here on Wednesdays. Uh, we start about 4.30, somewhere in that area. And we go, uh, we want to answer your questions. We want you to play better golf. And we want to take a look at your golf swing. So get your cell phone out and send us a video. Upload it right to our website at quickfixgolf.com. And it's not going to cost you a penalty. A uh, penalty. A penny. And uh, <laughs> right, penalty. two stroke penalty. You talk well. You talking hockey? I'm thinking penalty box. Um, <laughs> and uh, and keep keep an eye out for our app right at the Apple Apple Store. We'll keep you updated, and it'll be uh, another way that you can contact us through our app. And um, Brian asked, "Do you think Scheffler has been doing this fancy footwork since he was a kid?" Yes. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so I've I've watched. Um, I've watched Scheffler when he was younger. Yes, he's 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 done this his whole life. Yep. Where's Scheffler? You have him. Yep. You gonna pull him up? Yep. That's fancy footwork right there. <laughs> a little dance step we can put this to music what do you think Bobby oh yeah shake 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 Nora shake the bottom line <laughs> like you did like you did with the uh, the Post Korean guy. joy yes <laughs> you guys yeah. want to see something really funny you want to go on YouTube and put in there what, what was his name again Hong Post Song Joy Hong Song Joy Hong Song Joy and uh, I put it Funny to gang, gang, of, gang of music. That was pretty good. <laughs> I thought that'd get a lot more hits than it did. I really thought that that was gonna, it was kind of gonna go viral there. But uh, I thought so too. I thought it was excellent. The job he did. I thought it was. Yeah. I thought that. I said that's gonna hit. It's gonna. Everybody's gonna be watching that thing. But <laughs> that is pretty funny it might, though. It, is it might be funny. YouTube didn't didn't push it because we 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 can't monetize it. Yeah, I guess I guess not. Yeah. Because oh, well. of the guan guan guan, what is it called? Gum guan, gum quad. Gangnam, <laughs> gangnam style. Gangnam, gangnam style, style music. Yeah, gangnam style. <laughs> that guy was very popular for a while. Oh yeah, yep, yep. He he did for a long time have the number one video on YouTube for a long time. Yep. Well, see if you can do something with Sheffler with those feet. All right, I'll I'll see what I can dig up. <laughs> We just got to dig up some music to go with it. It's 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 not copyrighted. Yeah, 
I'll, I'll come up with something. Let me let me put a little work into that. <laughs> That'd be a good one there. That's good. We could do. We could use the, the music we have on our commercial. I will come up with something. All right. All right. All right, everybody. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.